This video is part three of three videos that cover setup and installation topics related to the High Performa 5 to 1 Single Use Bioreactor, or SUB. It is based on the Thermo Scientific High Performa 5 to 1 SUB User's Guide. Please refer to the User's Guide for detailed instructions. Topics covered are also applicable to thermoscientific, high performa 2 to 1 subs, unless otherwise noted. In this video, we will cover the following topics probe assembly, making CPC aseptic quick connections, probe insertion. The probe assembly is an innovative design to package user supplied pH and dissolved oxygen, or DO probes, for sterilization and to aseptically connect them to the BPC. The probe assembly includes an aseptic connector, molded bellows cover, and threaded probe adapter. Select an appropriate probe, verify the presence of a Teflon support ring and O-ring, and visually inspect the probe for damage. The maximum probe length is 235 millimeters. Probes must be 12 millimeters in diameter. Perform any required probe maintenance and calibrate the pH probe. Insert the probe into the probe assembly through the threaded adapter. Verify that the probe tip is not touching the membrane of the aseptic connector before threading into the probe adapter. Ensure that the thread of the probe is not cross-threaded in the adapter and that there is a gap of more than 6.35 millimeters or 0.25 inches. Hand tighten the adapter and verify that the probe tip is not touching the membrane. Place the probe assembly with probe into the autoclave tray for probe kits. The stainless steel autoclave tray for probe kits holds the electrochemical probes and bellows in place during the autoclave sterilization process. It features a plastic handle for easy transport, positions up to two probes on a 15% incline for greater probe and membrane longevity, and will restrain probe bellows from collapsing during sterilization. Autoclave the probe assembly using a validated sterilization cycle for approximately 30 minutes at 122 degrees Celsius or 251.6 degrees Fahrenheit. A 30-minute sterilization cycle is generally sufficient. Use slow exhaust cycles as this minimizes stress on the probes during the temperature and pressure changes of autoclaving. Allow sufficient time for the probe assembly to cool completely before connecting to the BPC for probe insertion. Autoclaved probe assemblies can be properly stored dry for short periods of time, less than 24 hours, without loss of sensor longevity, performance, or sterility. CPC Aseptiquick G genderless connectors are used to make sterile aseptic connections. Connectors with white protective cover pull tabs may be autoclaved. Generally, connectors with blue pull tabs are gamma irradiated, not autoclaved. Visit the CPC website for more information. Tear open and remove the plastic covering on the connector located on the BPC. Unsnap and flip open the protective cover pull tabs on both connectors. Align the two connectors and push them together. Squeeze each side of the connectors until you hear a click. Grab the joined pull tabs and pull to remove the paper membranes from the connectors. The pull tabs will also be removed. High Performa 5 to 1 subs may have metal or plastic probe clips. Metal probe clips are retained using an adjustable ball detent, spring-loaded screw. For metal probe clips, the ball detent should be adjusted so that the probe clip can be easily moved to the desired position while still securing the clip to the steel support piece. Swing the probe upward into the flexible spring on metal probe clips before releasing the probe assembly. Plastic probe clips attach onto the outer support container above the probe assembly. Plastic probe clips slide on with firm pressure. Insert the probe by collapsing the bellows. If the BPC is already filled with liquid, the best practice is to squeeze the bellows to expel air prior to collapsing it. Then, insert the probe fully. Position the plastic probe clip in the desired horizontal location. For plastic probe clips, lift the probe and set it into the bellows hook before releasing the probe assembly. Release the probe assembly and verify that the probe remains at the proper insertion depth and angle when the bellows expands to rest freely in the probe clip. Warning: For proper measurement, insert at least one half inch of the probe into the BPC past the probe seal to ensure that the sensor is in contact with the liquid. 
This completes part three of three videos that cover setup and installation topics related to the High Performa 5 to 1 sub. For further detailed instructions, please refer to the Thermal Scientific High Performa 5 to 1 sub user's guide. Contact your sales representative or get more information at thermofisher.com slash sub.